Xander Schauffele is one of the best young players on the PGA Tour. Here is a good look at Xander's golf swing with iron and with driver and as you can see he has an absolutely incredible golf swing. In one of my previous videos we analysed his full golf swing in depth so if you want to see that video check it out on my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the golf clubs that Xander Schauffele uses. Now Xander is a young American golfer but he has already kind of accomplished quite a lot in the world of golf. He's had amazing performances in a lot of major championships. He's been very close to winning a few, yet to win his first major, but it kind of seems like we're just gonna be asking ourselves, when is it gonna happen, not if it's going to happen. He keeps putting himself up there in contention. Now Xander is obviously a Callaway staff player. He's sponsored by Callaway. So most of the clubs, or even all of the clubs, we're going to be looking at are going to be of the Callaway or the kind of Callaway umbrella brand. So let's dive straight in and let's start having a look at Xander Schauffele's what's in the bag. Now first of all, with driver, let's start out with the driver. Xander has the Callaway Epic Speed Triple Diamond Driver in the bag. Now, if you're not familiar with the, Cal well, first of all, the Callaway Epic Speed, one of pretty much Callaway's flagship drivers at the moment, really top performing golf club, been reviewed and tested a lot. One of the fastest ball speeds off the club face due to this AI technology, AI speed frame technology. If you don't know, Callaway uses supercomputers to design its club faces for the woods and also I think now the irons as well. So they have applied this and it is becoming a very popular club out on tour, especially with the likes of John Ram having just gone to Callaway. And we have done a John Ram What's in the Bag video also out on my channel. And if you are enjoying the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe and comment your thoughts below. So the triple diamond version of this driver in Xander's bag, the triple diamond, you can't really buy it. It's like the tour issue low spin driver. It's a bit of a shame you can't really buy it because it would be pretty awesome if you could. Like I think it would be quite an in-demand golf club just for that kind of exclusivity of it. Even if they came out with it slightly higher price point maybe and you know maybe a slightly limited number of them I think they could sell really well. He has this in nine degrees. He has it in the uh, Graphite Design Tour AB BB7X um, custom black shaft, 45 and a half inches, tipped one inch, D3 swing weight. Quite a lot of information for you guys there. Uh, it's the same manufacturer of the golf shafts, like you may see Jordan Spieth using a lot with those kind of bands around it, the kind of orangey shaft. Basically, same as that. Um, well, same manufacturer anyway, extra stiff. Um, so, it seems like a pretty custom shaft, tipped one inch. Um, so he's doing some stuff with the weighting there, cutting an inch off the end. Uh, D3 swing weight, I'm not super specific on what that swing weight is. If anyone knows, comment down below if you use a D3 swing weight. Typically I don't mess around too much with swing weights. Now the three wood, he uses the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero three wood. This is in 15 degrees, but it's set to 14 and a half degrees. So quite low launching, low spinning driver in three wood there. Kind of, you know, nine degrees driver. That is quite low lofted. 14 and a half degrees three wood. That is, again, quite low lofted. So it makes me think that Xander probably hits the ball quite high naturally, and he likes to be able to take more spin off the golf ball and really see it going more forwards instead of up sometimes. Now the five wood, Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero, 18 degrees but set down to 17.7. And both of the shafts in the three wood and the five wood are the Graphite Design Tour AD DI8X shafts. I believe the 
The driver shaft, it says ABBB7. I believe that means it would be a 70 gram shaft. And probably similarly with a three wood and five wood, it says eight. I would believe that would probably be an 80 gram shaft. Typically you have slightly heavier shafts in your woods compared to your driver. And again, then most of the time you have heavier shafts in your irons as well. It's quite interesting to see him using the Rogue Sub-Zero fairway woods. This will probably be a preference in head shape. Uh, tour players can get quite picky about the head shape of their fairway woods and sometimes their drivers as well. So this is most likely why you see him using these instead of like the Epic Speed fairway woods as well. Um, as obviously the Rogue Sub-Zero, they obviously are a slightly older model. I think they probably came out two years ago or so. And Callaway would want Xander Schofield to be using their, uh, you know, flagship clubs, this year's clubs, the Epic Speed clubs. So not sure exactly why that is, but clearly he likes something about the Rogue Sub-Zero fairway woods. These obviously, again, are the lower spinning fairway woods. And again, he has the triple diamond, which is the lower spinning version of the Epic Speed driver. Next, we move into the irons, and I have to say, these are some of my favorite irons I really want to get my hands on and test this year. He uses the Callaway Apex TCB irons from 4-iron through to pitching wedge. Now, if you don't know what these irons, they stand for Tor Cavity Back, so basically they are a cavity back iron, but they are quite small heads, um, not quite as forgiving as some of Callaway's other irons. I think they look really cool. They look kind of similar to like the X Forge this year. Um, Cal uh, Callaway, I did a video earlier in the year. Callaway brought out so many different sets of irons this year. It was a little bit hard to see where someone might fit into each set. But then again, it also gives us a lot of uh, choice and which we prefer basically and want to get custom fitted into and also if we want to go for like a combo set and have some longer irons and some more forgiving irons and some shorter irons and some less forgiving irons. These are the same irons that John Rahm was using. Again if you want to see John Rahm's full what's in the bag video check it out on my channel. So they are pretty, you know, popular out on tour with John Rahm using them, Xander Schofle using them. They look, there's some very interesting technology going in with these irons. There's a video about, in the video I did about all the Callaway irons, we talked about some of the really interesting technology that has gone into these to improve performance, but also sound, feel, spin rates, all that sort of stuff, weighting as well. That was really, really interesting, a really interesting technology they're using with these. He has these in the True Temper, X100 shafts, quite a popular shaft, um, nothing really specific there. So yeah, not too much to talk about there. Now we move into the wedges, the Callaway Jaws MD5 wedges. He carries three wedges in the bag. He has the Callaway Jaws MD5 in the 52 degrees. Uh, this is set to 10 degrees of bounce and an S grind. Then he actually has a Titleist Vokey Design SM6 wedge in a 56 degrees, but it's set to 57. He has this in 10 degrees of bounce. And he has a Titleist Vokey Design SM8 Wedgeworks 60 degree T grind, but set to 61. Quite interesting mix of wedges there. Interesting that we actually have seen quite a lot of players using Vokey Design uh, wedges when they're not sponsored by Titleist recently. So Titleist, you know, one of the main big wedge manufacturers with the Vokey range. Also, the SM8 uh, 60 degrees seem to be a really, really popular wedge out on tour. A lot of players will just have their 60 degree in a Titleist SM8 or even a Titleist uh, Vokey prototype. Also, we've seen a little bit of a trend recently with tour players switching to slightly higher lofts in their wedges. As we can see, he has 52 degrees, 56 and 61. Well, he has 52, 57 and 61 degrees as opposed to like myself, I have 50, 54, 58. Quite traditional there, but these, he has a bit more loft on them. He actually has the 56 set to 57 and the 60 degree set to 61 degrees. Quite interesting there that a lot of tour players, because they play on 
faster greens, firmer greens sometimes. They do like to add loft to the wedges because they're really looking to, most of the time, to stop the ball and to get as much spin as possible, to really get as much control on that go golf ball as possible. And if it is a really fast green, a really firm green, they really want the ball coming in from as high a point as possible so that they can stop it if they can't stop it with spin, especially in tournaments like the US Open, maybe the Open Championship, things like that. Also, if you get short-sided, uh, as a lot of the pins on the PJ Tour are very, uh, how should we put it, very tough pins. They're not pins we particularly play with when we're out on the golf course. They can be cut to one edge, so you can be short-sided quite easily. If you are short-sided, you need to be able to flop that ball up and get it up and down as quickly and easily as possible. And obviously, if you have a more lofted wedge, this is going to be slightly easier. He has these in the True Tempered Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100 shafts. No surprise there. Pretty similar to his True Tempered X100 shafts that are in the Callaway Apex TCB irons from Forward to Pitching Wedge. And then we move into the putter. Now, Xander Schauffele, one of the best putters in the world. Odyssey O Works number seven, CH Red. I'm not sure what the CH red stands for, maybe just color or maybe it's like the tour issue there. But Odyssey O Works number seven, it's, um, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen so you can see here more of a kind of uh, mallet kind of shaped design. But really, really nice putter. He putts incredibly well, incredibly consistently. Actually, one of the strengths I love about Xander's game is his chipping and his pitching. I think he's. An incredible chipper and pitcher of the golf ball. If you, it probably underrated and under talked about as well. I've certainly noticed that whenever I'm watching him, he just always seems to get up and down from everywhere. Also, very interesting that um, Xander Schauffele is using the Callaway Chrome Soft X golf ball. It's quite interesting that he's using the Callaway Chrome Soft X golf ball because not many players, even Callaway players, use the Callaway golf ball. I think my golf spy have done some things showing that maybe the Callaway golf balls weren't manufactured to as high specifications as some of the others like Titleist, TaylorMade, etc. So you don't see too many players using it, but some do. Phil Mickelson does, Xander obviously does, and a few others I'm sure do as well. They are very soft golf balls. The issue wasn't so much with that. I think it was more the quality control of what they were built to. But I do also think some of the recent Callaway golf balls have been actually built to, because of this, have been, are being made to better, higher production specifications now. So guys, that is Xander Showplay's What's in the Bag video. Comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to know when you think Xander is going to win his first major. I could kind of see him maybe winning at the PGA Championship this year. Would be pretty cool to see. He definitely has put himself in contention in the major championships quite a lot. So you kind of feel it's fairly well deserved. He's a pretty awesome golfer. Definitely seems like a very nice young guy. I've listened to some podcasts with him where talk about if you guys don't follow the Earn Your Edge podcast, it's not nothing to do with myself. It's Cameron McCormick, who's Jordan Spieth's golf coach. Highly recommend it. Great to listen to. They have some of the best players in the game, Adam Scott, Jordan Spieth, uh, Xander Schauffele, Patrick Cantlay, Daniel Berger, Butch Harmon, George Gankus, Rick Shields, the Me and My Golf guys, they have pretty much all the top names in golf on there. But Xander's was very interesting. He comes across like a very, very nice young guy, very down to earth and obviously a great golfer as well. If you guys want to see the analysis video I did of his golf swing, check it out on my page. It is quite interesting. There's a few things in it where Xander kind of, well, there's a few things he tends to do on his worst swings, which you can see. There's a few things that you could definitely copy. You can see why he gets so much power in his golf swing, despite being quite a small guy. And there's a few things not to copy as well. Or if you just want to take a good in-depth look at his golf swing, check that out on my, on my channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like this video, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, guys. As always, grip it and rip it.